Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So hopefully this video is going to help you. A lot of people want to know how to create water in Blender. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I would show you how I create water. And yeah, hopefully this helps you. Hopefully you can create some awesome water. And yeah, let's get into it. So first thing, what a lot of people do is they go shift A, mesh, and they add a plane for the water. What I do is I won't use a plane. Instead, I go shift A, mesh, get a cube. Then what I'm going to do is go do X, and then we're going to click here to scale, and we're going to scale the cube down, something like that, and then go S, scale it up, just something like that. You can always change it later, but you want you don't want it too thick, and you don't want it too thin either. What I'm going to quickly just do is just click on my camera, G, bring it back, something like that, and then it's just go S, scale the cube up, something like that is perfect. Let's just go to the camera. Sorry, I just want to bring it up, G, something like that. Now what you want to do is click on the cube, go to shading, hit new, and then let's just bring this up so I can show you a little bit better how we do the water or how I create the water. So first thing you want to do, bring the roughness all the way down so we can get that reflective material. And you're going to go to transmission and you're going to bring the transmission all the way up. Okay. Now we can close this. Next thing you want to do is go shift A, get a bump node. Get that there, plug this normal into the normal. Bring the strings to 0 0.05. And the distance 0 0.025. Okay. Then what you want to do is go shift A, get a noise texture. So boom, noise texture, and then plug plug the factor into the height. Okay. And then you want to play with the scale. So you want to bring it up to something pretty high. So make it like 250. You can see it's starting to look a bit like water. And it's looking quite nice. Almost looking nice. You don't want it too choppy, but you can see it looks it's pretty it's looking pretty nice. And this would actually work for water. You know, if you just want to do a quick water, this is perfect. But if you want to take it a step further, what you can do is we can bring this here, you can bring this like that, bring this there, and then go shift A and get a top in volume. And then what you want to do is get a principal volume. Put this here, bring this like that, plug the volume into the volume. And then you want to bring the anisotropy up a little bit, something like that. And this just gives the cube a little bit of volume on the inside, you can see. So it's not, you know, when you make that plane straight through and you don't have this cube, it sometimes the water looks like weird. It doesn't actually look like water because there's no real volume. And that's what we want. Water is obviously volume as well. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to unplug this principal bsdf and i'm going to go shift a get a mix shader we put this here plug the shader into the surface and then let's just move all this up a little bit you're going to need more space then go shift a get a transparent bsdf and we're going to plug this in there and then we're going to plug this bsdf of the principal BSDF into the shader there. And then the next thing we want to do is go shift A, top in light path. So we want a light path node and then plug in camera array to the factor. Okay, and this doesn't really change that much, but you can see now if I go here. Yeah. So let's go to layouts and this is your water. So you don't need to do all those extra steps. I just normally do it because it just looks a bit better and depending on the scene. So sometimes you can get away with not having to do all that other stuff. But uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is just hide this cube. Go shift A. I'm going to just show you how it works. So plane S, scale it up. And then what I'm going to do is just go here to tab. Subdivide and then subdivide it about 100 times. 
And then what you're going to do is go to proportional editing, so click there. And then hit here and go G. We want to actually just make this pretty big. So we can, basically you want to put grass. So G. Something like that. And then let's maybe go here in the front. G. Okay. G there. And now, let's go tab. And then what you can do is let's add grass. So I'm going to just use botanic. Probably the best place for grass. And then, boom. And then click on yeah, I'm going to add grass, boom, boom. Okay, now, let's bring our cube back. And then what I'm going to do, is go X, G, bring this down, something like that. It might be a bit, we'll have to maybe adjust it, but now, let's go back here. And we can see, how nice that looks, it's got that reflection. So if I go here, and let's add a HDRI, so Asset Browser. Let's throw this one on, and you can see how nice that looks. So you can see it's got the, the reflections, obviously, depending on the HDRI, it will change. But you can see how nice that looks. You can see even underneath, it's got, you can still see the grass underneath which you want obviously this is water so you know you can go underneath and this is what it looks like underneath and you can see how nice this looks and I feel like this is the most realistic water in blender because like I said if you go underneath you can see even the flowers underneath the water like I said and this is what you want so you can see there, even that looks pretty good. I do that. Look how nice this looks. Water. Clear water, obviously. You can obviously then also change the color. But I normally like to keep it clear. Because water is usually clear unless it's muddy. But, uh, yeah, you can see how nice, and how nice it looks for water. You can see the reflections and even underneath the grass, which is, like I said, what you want. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will upload this to the patreon so if you're a member you can download it and then you've got the wood and you can save it in your asset browser and you can throw it on easily without having to do it but yeah hopefully this video helped you make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace